In the middle of the world, there's a job that only few would dare. Just when you thought extreme thrifting couldn't get any more dangerous, Ice Road Thrifters take on Tennessee. These are the thrifters that make their living on thin ice. Tennessee, where we don't really get a lot of ice and snow, do we? Nope. <laughs> Not very much at all. This reminds us of back home in Virginia. And me back home in Connecticut. Yeah, really. So anyway, we're going to head up to our local thrift store. We tried the other day to get out to go when, uh, when this stuff first started and everybody shut down, so the Goodwill was empty. So the Ice Road Thrifters are heading back out again. Okay, we're here at Old School Soulmates Headquarters, International. Cold out here. Homemaker bin 75. All right, so this is in bin 75. I'm going over here. You know, all of our bins numbered one through. 80 something so bin 75 is this one down here so pull bin 75 888 there it is right there luckily it was right on top I really didn't plan that it just happened to be there sometimes you get lucky Going padded flat rate. So, all right. So, we're gonna pack this. It's a padded flat rate envelope, and basically, it's flat rate. It's padded. It uh, costs somewhere between seven ninety five or less, depending on what your store discount is. And it's pretty simple. You just put it in here. It's a self adhesive thing it up and I'm going to put a little piece of tape on it just for 
branding. A little extra security. All right. And print the label. And print on my zebra. These are thermal printers. They don't need any ink or toner or anything. They just print with heat. And they're a little bit more expensive maybe to get into, but I don't know. The convenience that it saved me over the years, I love it, and I would never go back. All right. Okay, and we're off to the post office. Actually, before I go, you have to excuse my mess. We've been kind of hitting and getting here. So I'm going to turn on my photo rig here, and we've got to measure a pair of boots. So, okay, normally I shoot a picture with a ruler at the back of the shoe like this so they can see how high it is, but apparently this was an older one back in the day we've had forever, so I did not take that picture. So what I'm going to do, sneak over here for a second, grab a pair of boot holders here. These things are great for taking pictures of boots and stuff. You need it to stand up. There we go. We can put that in there like that. That way the boot's good. You can do it this way if you want to. Obviously my ruler is a little short for this. I want to know the heel height. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of the entire thing and put it into the listing. So Here's what we'll do. We'll go to our eBay app and I actually have a question on this, so no, let's go to messages. I'll go to messages. Let's see here. What I'm doing here. And she asked a question about this. I'm gonna view my listing on here these boots and next I'm going to revise the listing so once that spins up it will give me the opportunity to add my pictures so I'm just going to do this for now I usually I'm going to go ahead and open my camera app we'll do one picture like that to show the height of the boot. Okay. Now I'll also show the heel, which it looks like two inches on this one. So this is what, what I ended up with. Okay. And all right, we're good to go. We'll turn off our rig. Got some more photography to do later, but right now I'm gonna make the post office. Go ahead and Get this out. Get over there with those. Boots go in here. We'll hold these out. Now, what I'm going to do to this is go back over here to the eBay listing. Got a place to add pictures. So I'll select from the gallery, take the picture I just got, upload it, and it'll add it to my listing. Go over here, and this is important too if you're working on the app. Make sure you revise the listing. If you don't, that won't be saved. So, hopefully, you can see that. But, and eventually, boom, there it goes. Success. And we'll say done on that. All right. To the post office. cold again. Okay. Let's find the key. Alright. To the FJ.